Alrighty, we are back with another video and today. We are doing the last in our series of spooky board games for October. So today we got Oh No Zombies brought to you by Archie McPhee board games. And without further ado, let's check this one out. So we got a nice obscure board game here. It's called Oh No Zombies. And uh, yeah, well actually let's check out the box. Let's see what we got in the back here. So we got uh, some players here playing our zombie game, and you can see it's set up here. The, there's the board and the gameplay. Um, it's come to this. You're trapped in the middle of nowhere inside a rundown shack surrounded by zombies. Your cell phone doesn't get reception, and the landline is just emit a constant busy signal. Your only hope for survival is to get to one of the abandoned stores so you can get a battery for the CD radio in the shack and a shotgun to help you survive the trip back. Good luck with that. So... Basically, there's a little bit of a backstory there, a little bit of a scenario, so it <clears throat> gives a little bit of a depth to the game. It's not just a zombie game, which is usually the case. We'll check out the board in a second. So, we got, so this is a new board game, <clears throat> not used. Let's open up these packs and check out what we got here. We got some paddle bat, look like these are weapons, tokens. Ripping these apart, they're so delicate. So, we got some paddle bats, some shovels, torches, shotguns, batteries. So, these are these are things that you I imagine gather along the way. Oh, no, zombies. Okay, so these are some cards here. As a zombie gets closer, you close your eyes and await your doom, but nothing happens. You open your eyes and see the zombie lying motionless beside you. You nudge it with your foot. Yep, it's dead. The zombie reaches for you, but you duck beneath its arms and crawl between its legs and move two spaces. So these are movement cards or action cards, as you would say. And then we got some dice here. This looks like two six-sided dice and one. Let's check out this. Dice here, which does have different color green shades on each side that's what i wanted to take out of the pack i wanted to see what was going on and then just a red and black die here for movement and we got this little looks like a sandwich baggie full of your zombie tokens let's check those puppies out so we got so we do have some some light green Some mid green, and that would correspond to those. We got red characters, we got some purple ones, we got yellow, and we have blue. Now, um, I'm not sure if the fact that the I imagine these are the uh what do we got here one game four human playing pieces so the human playing pieces are going to be the ones that were these shirts and i imagine these are the zombie versions of said players you have 10 zombie playing pieces so two four six eight ten so those are actually just zombie pieces six regular zombie and four human playing pieces that have turned in so that's what i thought okay so these are going to be your human players that turn into zombies these are going to be your standard zombies these are going to be your players that you play with you have the 18 ono zombie cards you have 16 weapon battery cards two torch two shovel four cricket bats four shotgun four batteries cool um place the game board on a flat surface how to play the game roll the die to see who goes first um, and then basically the first player to make it back to the shack space with a battery card for the radio wins. Um, if your player is turned into a zombie and turns the last human player into a zombie, you win. So basically, as your players uh, turn into zombies, your objective is to then act the role of the zombie and take out the other players. And as the camp of the zombies, um, once you eliminate all the other players, you as the zombie win the game. And as the players, your goal is to not turn into a zombie and to make it to get the battery cards, uh, to power up the radio and get back to the shack to win the game. If a non-player zombie turns the last human 
into the zombie, then the zombies win. Just exactly what I said. So let's check out the game board before we cast everything out. So looks like we have here um, just kind of a circular nation. Yeah, they're kind of just circular. There's nothing really special about this. There's just basically stones on the board. We have some stores in the corners here. So I imagine getting to the stores on the perimeter and then making your way back with zombie tokens all over the place. It's, um, I imagine, pretty difficult. I would like to try out this game and see what it's all about. Now, both sides of the board is identical. They are identical. Um, and in the center, you have this Ono oh Zombies shack. And then you have to make your way um, to these outer stores. And there's a store in each corner of the board, which is really cool. The printing of this is interesting. It does look like kind of like stock photos, but I mean, again, to create a board game yourself, I mean, I have created my own board game. I created Zombie Quest. Um, it is difficult to get, once you understand how difficult it is to create that the board, get everything printed, get all the pieces made, you kind of understand why some of the, the in-depth of the details isn't really there, so. But yeah, a lot of the stones do look kind of like clip art type photos and stuff like this, shovels and such. Very clip arty, not very unique. Um, but again, really cool game. Seems like a really cool premise in here. Definitely something I would be interested in trying out and playing. I like the aspect of going to retrieve uh, items, going on like a mission, and then returning back someplace. So it's not just a going to A, it's going to A and then back to B. Um, and I think that that's really cool, and I think that that's really kind of clutch in regards to um, a creation of a survival horror game. Because, I mean, think about it, zombies. You you want to be on the run. You want to be bunkering down. You want to be going to gather supplies and resources. You want to be able to interact with the zombies. Um, I think that that's all crucial parts when it comes into a zombie board game specifically. So, um, if you want to see me do a review of my board game, Zombie Quest, let me know in the comments below. If you want more content like this, subscribe to this channel for more. We do board game reviews every single Wednesday. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you played Oh No Zombies, let us know in the comments below. Have a great rest of your day.